as it's Jackson Hudson, and we are back in the backyard again. He's finished his lunch. He's going to go play in the backyard, and I am starving. It's Canteen Cup Tuesday today, so I have my BCB Crusader kit out here ready to go. I'm going to use Purell, or Purell, hand sanitizer, and I'm going to try those eucalyptus fuel things again. See how that goes. I got my fancy tuna can lid there. I'm craving ramen. Fall is here. The cool weather's here in the mornings and in the evenings. Getting a little bit warmer in the afternoons again, but oh, it's fall and I love ramen. So I'm going to do ramen. I got my standard um, spice kit with me and a little bit of oil. I'm going to use the oil for something really special. It's September and September on YouTube is Spam Timber. So I'm going to fry up some teriyaki spam in my Boy Scout frying pan. And then we're going to add a little green onion. And if it needs a little more flavor, we're going to put on teriyaki sauce. I have never tried this before, so wish me luck. First things first, I get my water going for my ramen. That's going to take the longest, I think. That's probably too much water. All right, I'm going to try the eucalyptus fuel pellets again. It took a while to get started last time, so this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover them in hand sanitizer. This is dollar store hand sanitizer. It's not the fancy Purell stuff. Anything expensive, high tech. Don't know if this is going to work. Never tried it before. I may have just ruined it. We'll see. Alright, let's see how this baby started here. Alright, so you can see that or not, there's a flame back there, that's on fire Hudson, okay, so you stay back. Water on, and a boil, and I'm going to put my spam ready. That is burning like crazy. All right. Yeah, I'm making lunch right now, buddy. Right, I'm going to put my seasoning in there. I'm going to put the noodles in once the water gets to a boil. There we go. That's burning like stink down there. Well, it's cool. It's time for the spam. I have never tried teriyaki spam. I've only ever seen it on the shelves around here once. And I grabbed a can. And today is the day we're going to try it. Alright. Next step. I'm gonna make little cubes of spam. Yeah, it's meat in there. Kind of. What's that? What's that hole in put a hole in the can. It slid right out because of that teriyaki sauce in there. Cool. All right, ready? I'm gonna use my knife. I am not using all of this today. We're gonna use some of this today. Well, because it's just me eating it. We'll save some for Abby and Jonas, and they can try it later. Mm -hmm. See if they like it. But who will you have the other one? Abby and Jonas can have it. See if they like it. Okay? Wow. All right. I'm going to cut these up oh. into little squares. The little whale. The little whale. Those are rectangles, right? Yeah, a white one. I like rectangles. Do you like rectangles? I like rectangles too. Rectangles are cool. Maybe we'll leave them rectangles. And the, and the mama. Yeah, maybe we'll leave them rectangles. We'll do half squares and we'll do half rectangles. And, and diamonds. And diamonds. Alright, let's go check. Our spam is ready, so we'll cut up. The water's not boiling yet. We're going to wait till the water boils and we'll put the noodles in and then we'll cook the spam. Okay, Mr. Meat Lover. Yeah, we gotta wait till the water boils first. Water right, on. Spam is ready. It's all cooked. Getting hot. Where's we got rectangles? Thank you. And Matt, Paul, hunter gatherer knife and diamonds. That's right. And we're gonna cook our spam in our Boy Scout frying pan with a little bit of canola oil. This is an old Fireball shot bottle. Diamonds. Just drink the Fireball and use it for your condiments. It's it's awesome. going in here now. Put a little alcohol in there. Looks like it was burnt out, and now I have an inferno. Alright, it's not boiling yet. It should come up. 
Alright, sounds like my water's blown, so I'm going to take this pot off, put it over there, and then we're going to put a Boy Scout frying pan on there, and let it start getting hot, and we'll add a little bit of oil, and then a spam, we'll fry that up while our noodles are cooking. into a hot pan, because that's how my friend Nate says you should do it. He's a chef. All right, it's noodle it. time. Water's boiled. So I broke these up into kind of like quarters. I don't like them. They're long and smoky. I don't like making a mess. And they fit better in the canteen cup if you break them up. There we go. We're going to let the residual heat of the water cook those noodles. Shouldn't take very long. In the meanwhile, there's spam to cook. Spam. spam. Hopefully, I'm not going to lose any to the cooking god. Oops. Fancy cutting board. This is a lid from Folgers Coffee, and it fits inside the frying pan. It fits inside a lot of my pots, and it's my favorite cutting board. Easily and cheaply replaced. <laughs> Good. A little GSI gripper that my family got me for Christmas a few years ago. Thank you, family. Smells good. Alright, guys, now that spam fries up. I'm going to slice up this green onion. The noodles are cooking away in there. I love my green onions sliced, so we can add it. Okay. I love green onion, especially with teriyaki sauce. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Slice green onion. I'm ready to go in my ramen. Alright, the teriyaki spam is looking good. It's not crispy all over, but Hungry. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's go make some Let's ramen. Let's see what you guys are doing here. It's a steamy hot, huh? that's for sure. They seem pretty cooked to me. Alright, not too much water in there, so I want to get rid of a little bit of it. Alright, there we go. I'm going to take my noodles out of here, though. Put them there, because I think it's going to look prettier. Mm -hmm. Alright, special shout out to Journey of Bear. Go check out his YouTube channel. He has started Spam Timber. This was his idea. And he made ramen with Spam and green onions and eggs a couple weeks ago, I think it was now. And Anyways, he made me super hungry, and I've been craving it ever since. Reminding me of this teriyaki spam I had in the house. First chance I've had to try it. Let's do a taste test of the spam first. Cheers. It's good. It's good. It's not a really strong flavor. Not very strongly flavored teriyaki anyways. I'm going to add some green onion. And then, I'm going to spice it up, and I'm going to add some of this extra teriyaki sauce. It's definitely going to be a two-hand job to get that open. <laughs> so I'm going to open this VH teriyaki sauce a little bit. You could obviously, if you're going backpacking, you could open this up at home. Transferred into a Tupperware or something, melting bottle. Make your own. Take it just like this if you're cooking for a crowd. There we go. Teriyaki spam ramen. Alright, it's time to eat. Just spork. Or chopstick? That is the question. 
chopsticks seem most appropriate. So let's give it a go. Mm. Bear, thank you for Spam Timber idea. Thank you for this ramen recipe idea. Everybody else is going to go out there and do some Spam cooking. I can't wait. I've already seen Cheesehead Chris and Carolina Chris outdoors, and I can't wait to see yours too. Whatever you're doing today, wherever you are, I hope you're eating well. I hope you're having fun. And get out there and Spam Timber Cam Team Cup Tuesday it, my friends. Thanks for joining me.